Oh, hello, hello. Um, construction is just kind of dragging on. I've moved the balloon cage upstairs to free up some space down here. Um, we'll see if I up the balloon cage again soon, hopefully. In the meantime, it's summer, so uh, latex balloons don't last very long at all. So I'm just relegated to vinyl inflatables and foil balloons and I enjoy foil balloons but I tell you I blow them up and a month later they're still as bright and shiny as they were when I first blew them up I inflate latex balloons and within a matter of hours they are oxidized crap so anyway now I'm not going to blow up anymore foil balloons today uh, somebody asked a question about how much weight a three-foot balloon would hold up. Now, that's not really a good question. Okay, so why is it not a good question? Well, all right, a balloon doesn't pop because you put a quantity of weight on it. It can, you know, if you put too much. But um, that's generally not what causes the balloon to pop. Um, as demonstrated in previous videos, you know, I can sit on a balloon and lift my feet off the floor so that all my weight, and I weigh about 95 kilograms, that's about 210 pounds. So, you know, and my feet off the floor, it's all my weight is on it and the balloon's not popping, right? It's not just the weight. So if I bounce on the balloon a little bit, um, then the balloon pops. Well, why does it pop? Is it momentum or whatever? No, it's... You're flexing the balloon, and as you flex the balloon, it develops a tear, and then the envelope ruptures and the balloon pops. It's kind of like if you take a piece of metal, like a piece of steel or aluminium, whatever, or you can bend it one way, fine, you can bend it back the other way. And, but if you keep doing that, sooner or later that piece of metal is going to break into two pieces. That's the same thing. It's the same thing with balloons. So it's as you're flexing it, you're weakening it, and then it eventually bursts. So, and to kind of demonstrate, I've got some three-foot balloons, and we'll blow them up and just sit on them. Um, now, that very important, I have, a, I have a gymnastic mat down, so I don't injure myself, and should one pop unexpectedly. Um, but... The gymnastic mats, the top is made out of, well, vinyl. And if you've ever sat in an inflatable chair with shorts on and your skin sticks to the vinyl, okay, the same thing happens with balloons, all right? The latex against the vinyl can start a tear. And the balloon will pop prematurely. So I had to cover it with uh, some cloth. Actually, one of my tapestries. Anyway, all right, I guess we get started. Mexican made uh, food. I think the color is called rose gold. It doesn't feel deteriorated or anything, it doesn't have any rotten rubber smell. Alright. This is a fairly new stock. This is going to be a Decamax 36 inch. <laughs> I 
acid on this. There's like bits of sawdust on this. Oh. Alright, well, that's 95 kilograms. And I'm just sitting here. But I know in SAE or the English Imperial System, it's pounds per square inch. So in my case, it's 210 pounds. But because more of my body is on that, I'm actually exerting less pressure because it's the number of pounds divided by the area. You understand? I'm looking at this Mexican balloon. I don't know how old it is. Um, I don't know if it's going to send me plowed into the floor. I guess we're going to find out. Oh. I guess I'm just my tippy toes along the floor just for balance, but I don't know how old those balloons are. So we try the same stuff with this one. Now I have you know I've sat on this put pressure on this balloon before. And yeah. This is also kind of pliable. It's a little bit more pliable than that. Mexican balloon walls, so alright. Well, I think I got these on sale somewhere, and I don't know. I kind of like the color. I'm sure I could find something fun to do with these. Well, well. Until next time, you have fun out there, and remember, always, always, never be ashamed to be yourself.